and not playing so well. So, somebody named himself Schnelldenker and offered a five minute game. It's kind of funny. Um, but okay. Back to the rat. Knight c3, quickly, e5, has Schmeldenker prepared? That's the question. Takes an e4, but after you take an e4, you gotta, you gotta play faster. Otherwise, I will know that you don't actually know what you're doing. And, um, That is going to give me confidence. And trust me, you don't need to give me extra confidence. So. Okay, it's going to be a lot of the same as we had in the very first game of the day. So now I'm thinking bishop e3 is possible. Bishop b5 may have been tempting. That would obviously just have lost to um, to the likes of any of my check. So okay, I'm just in castle. Play for quick development. You can have the pawn on e4, sir. I'm banking on my development to give me a good position. Queen b6. This was also queen a5 check, which was not an interesting. But that will. I'll have to do that another day. Okay, rook d8. Feels a bit. Funky to go for that with f7 hanging, but at least at first glance, I can't see how we can exploit it. Queen b4 was possible, but I'm... he has knight d2 then, so I would rather keep it in reserve. Castles after a long think. I guess I'm going to take the pawn on d4 now. It's probably going to go knight g5, and then we'll see what happens. What am I going to do after knight g5? Perhaps I didn't take this seriously enough. e6? Looks really ugly. Anyway, he didn't do that. Queen a4 seems to me to be to not be concrete enough. It's clearly preparing some sort of rook d1, but I don't think I don't think that's what the position required really. So now what? Yeah, it's a bit simple, bishop f5. In case of knight g5, I'm going to e6. Developing the pieces. Hoping just to exchange, um, to escape an extra pawn. I'm just going to go bishop c2, I think. He's going to be able to exchange a bunch of pieces, but I think I welcome that. There are going to be opposite color bishops, but I'm not too worried. So if there are 
works on the board, then winning chances are, are usually pretty good. And I do like it when I can just play technically. And hopefully it will be interest, instructive as well. Even though my technique is not always as good as advertised. So part of good technique is calculating, right? Should, probably should have calculated more, but I just have a good feeling that this works. Take on C1 and move C8. Question is which? I have a feeling that rook dc8 may, may be more accurate, but then again, rook ac8 feels much more logical and then it has the advantage that in case of knight e2 in some lines, then rook c4 followed by rook d1 will actually be mate, which will would not have been the case if the other gonna, rook had gone to c8 and, and um, then you can only go to a1 after which you would have been able to block to check the rook. C1 in, in that particular line. After he goes F3, then yeah, D5. That's going to be a full exchange and a pawn. After he should have taken F7. That was quite nice. That's me. But yeah, anyway, it would have been pretty much playing seven for now. So now C5. I'm just going to go D5. Rook D2. And probably rook b2 next. Looks like it should be a pretty routine conversion from here. Just don't blunder in, into anything. Rook d3, if knight c7, rook c7 traps the knight. So knight b4, but now the other pawn is just, just running away. And Schnelldenker is losing a bubble time. Okay.